I'm gonna let you guys into a little secret. Now, recently we filmed the car and the video didn't include everything we'd actually filmed. Now, normally when we do a car review video, everything we film, you guys get to see because times of a premium and every shot we have to pretty much use in the final edit, unless of course I fluff my lines or something. But for the Skoda Kodiak review, there's quite a big segment that was missing. Now, when I was doing the review of the car, I thought it'd be a bit of fun to do a 0-62 mile an hour sprint time test on it. And you'll see in a moment why, when you watch the clip, why I did that. But the problem was that soon after filming it, I was gonna go away on holiday, and it meant that the edit would be done without me there. And so I had to record the voiceover beforehand. And as part of that voiceover, I was gonna explain how fast the car got to 62 miles an hour. Now on the spec sheet that we got with the car, it said it would do it in 10.1 seconds. This is a 1.4 liter turbo petrol with 150 horsepower. And so I thought it would be there or thereabouts. So I recorded a, a range of options from about 9.5 seconds all the way to 11.5 seconds. And then the editor could pick the right one, which matched the time, and voila. Unfortunately, the car, when we measured it, didn't actually do the number that we thought it would. It wasn't close. And well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you guys see what actually happened by watching the clip. So let's time it to see what it really does because as bizarre as it may seem, if you get the Kodiak with the seven speed automatic gearbox, it also has launch control and to engage it, all I have to do is put the car into sports mode, put the traction control into sports mode, put the gearbox also into sports mode, hold my foot on the brake, throw the throttle, release the brake. <laughs> this seems ridiculous in a Skoda Kodiak doing launch starts. And there we go, 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour, because this is a European car. Oh, I didn't want to run out of road. So yeah, we were as surprised as you guys were that this big Skoda Kodiak can get from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 8.6 seconds, which is way quicker than what Skoda was saying. We also did some in-gear acceleration times, reason being that we wanted to see that if you're gonna be buying this Skoda, should you go for the 1.4 litre petrol, or if you're gonna be carrying people regularly in the car, do you want the more torquey two litre diesel, which does have 150 horsepower, but 340 newton meters of torque, as opposed to 250 of the turbo petrol. Anyway, so this is what happened, we recorded the um, in-gear time, so I accelerated from 50 miles an hour to 70 in fourth gear. So let's see, we're at 50. And that's 70. So the car managed to go from 50 to 70 in 7.1 seconds, which isn't bad. And then we thought, well, let's try it with a car full of people. So we did the same test again with five passengers on board, including the driver. And this is what happened. So we're going to do the same test again, but with a car full of people. Draw the throttle, 50, 60. That's 70. You don't have to look so bored, Josh. So in the end, with the car fully loaded, that in-gear acceleration time increased by 1.9 seconds, which is actually quite a bit. And it gives justification for the fact that if you wanna carry lots of people in your Skoda Kodiak, you're probably gonna be better off with a more torquey two litre diesel engine. Anyway, that's by the by. I just thought you guys would really like to see those deleted scenes because as I said at the beginning, it's rather rare. Pretty much everything we film, you get to see. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And click on the video windows to watch some more of our excellent videos.